Hey lovelies, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I hope you enjoy this video. Check out some of my other content and subscribe to my channel. For everybody else, welcome back. Definitely uh, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. So today's video is just kind of a fun video, nothing too serious. Um, I wanted to go through my poly gel and get rid of stuff that's expired, stuff that I'm just not going to use at all. Um, lately, I haven't really been filling poly gel, so I wanted to get rid of a lot of this, um, see if there's anything I could give away, um, see what needs to go in the trash. And so I saw a couple weeks ago, Emily Susanna, she did a video where she mixed all her poly gel colors together. And yesterday, I believe Christina Couture uploaded a video um, as well. So since I'm already going to go through my poly gel, I was like, well, I might as well just mix them together and see what I come up with. So I am mixing everything together. I did not include any of my clears. Um, so it's a lot of pinks, some nudes, uh, my color poly gel, a lot of temperature changing poly gel. I think I had about like 10 temperature changing poly gels, some glitter, some glitter poly gels, some iridescent poly gels. Um, and then it really gave me a good opportunity to see, okay, you could use this one more. This is a really pretty color. It gave me an opportunity to see like, okay, these probably need to go in the trash and these are fine, but I'm just not going to use them. So um, because I don't give away anything that's been used to, like as a giveaway or anything like that, I definitely will just give it to um, one of my friends who's practicing doing their own nails if this is something that they won't want. So I'm not throwing everything in the trash unless it's expired. Speaking of giveaways, I do have a giveaway open. It is one of my grab bag giveaways and that video's that giveaway's been a little bit stagnant. I haven't really been promoting it. So I'm going to link the video in the cards above and if you haven't entered that giveaway, definitely um do so. It is a grab bag giveaway, but I'm giving away some glitters. I'm giving away a kiss dip powder kit. Um, I will include one of my cuticle oils in the giveaway as well. So check that video out and enter the giveaway if you haven't already done so. So I'm doing this poly gel experiment <laughs> and my hand started to hurt. I was starting to get a little annoyed. Like, why did I decide to do this? Um, it's been 100 degrees. It was 100 degrees yesterday. It's going to be 100 degrees like pretty much for about a week out here in California where I'm at. Um, so the AC has been on nonstop. So these poly gels are hard. Um, so I was just having a little bit of trouble squeezing them out. And then um, you can see that some of the poly gels like the Brano ones were still soft even though it's um, pretty cold in the house because of the AC. But all in all, I didn't show, I cut out most of it, but all in all, I used 65 poly gels. The bulk of them were um, pink. I had about 10 temperature changing. I had about 20 colored poly gels. I only had one glow in the dark and maybe about like eight to 10 um, glitter poly gels. So the bulk of it, and you can see I did pretty much put most of the pinks on one side and most of the colors on one side. So you can see the bulk of the poly gel colors were the pink. And this is sped up, but um, you can still see, even though this is at a faster speed, I am having so much trouble like mixing this together. But lately I really haven't, like I said earlier, I haven't really been feeling poly gel. It just feels like, Acrylic is so much easier. And I have linked this video before to reduce the monomer smell um, in your house. I'm gonna link that video for you guys again. And I think I'm actually gonna do an updated video on that. Even though I'm still using all the same things, but I think I wanna just do an exclusive video on reducing monomer smell. So let me know if that's something you guys would be interested in. But as I was saying, like poly gel sometimes just feels like a lot of work. You have the lamp, you have the base coat, you have the sticky layer. Um, don't get me wrong, I did use a lot of poly gel and builder gel when I was um when I first started my YouTube. I didn't really use a lot of acrylic, but I feel like now that I figured out the smell part of the acrylic, 
I'm more motivated when I'm working with acrylic than with poly gel or builder gel. But um, let me know what you guys think down below. Um, are you guys still using your poly gel? What do you prefer to work with? Um, I'm definitely not going to get rid of all of it because I feel like I'm still going to use it from time to time, especially for video purpose. But um, yeah, just let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. So this is the color that I came up with. It's like um, kind of like a mauve. And I think these colors are similar to everyone else's. So pretty much if you mix all your colors together, this is probably a similar color that you're going to get. Um, nothing big. It wasn't beautiful or anything like that. I don't think the color is ugly, but it's definitely not a color I would pick. And um, I would purposely pick out as a main color of a set. So I'm only going to just do one nail, but... Um, because I didn't really feel like doing a full set anyway with the poly gel. Um, what else? Oh, I'm using one of my fingers for my flexi hand in the description box below. I do um, state what products I use for the flexi hand. So that would be in the description box below if you're interested in seeing out how seeing how I build a nail. So with this poly gel, each layer I did go in and flash cure and I just didn't feel like um, seeing how sticky or anything this poly gel was going to be. I already knew it was going to be firmer. So that's why I decided to go in with the base coat um, instead of the slip solution or alcohol. Basically with the base coat, for me in my experience, when I'm using poly gel with the base coat, I get a lot smoother of an application and I don't really have to deal with the stickiness of the poly gel. So that's pretty much it um, that I really wanted to talk about, about the poly gel. Um, yeah, my hands hurt <laughs> from squeezing those tubes. So like I said, I used 65 poly gels and only a few of them weren't um, extremely stiff. So my hands hurt a little bit and I'm just not motivated to do a full set of nails. And just really, the color didn't come out good. So I'm just like, eh. Yeah, I really wasn't um, feeling this color very much. Let me know what you guys think about the color in the description box below. It's not an ugly color, but it's just not something I would pick out or gravitate towards. Um, I don't think, at least I don't think I would. And then also the glitter really didn't show up too well. Um, I didn't have enough glitter poly gels. So this is what the nail looks like after it has been buffed and shaped a little bit better and I'm just adding a top coat. The base and top coat I used in this video were from Burano and um, I don't think they sell their base and top coats by themselves, but I will check and if they do, I will add that in my Amazon storefront, probably under the gel polishes. So if I can find it, I will link it in my Amazon storefront. So I'm going to go ahead and just apply a little bit of my cuticle butter to my hands. And I think you guys have heard me say this before, a little bit goes a long way. I'm going in with a very clean cuticle pusher um, and just getting a little bit out. And I'm going to moisturize my whole hands with that little bit um, of oil that I used. And I did say this in a video before, with my butters, I don't have any preservatives, so you wanna make sure that whatever you're dipping it out of the container with is clean and you don't get any water in the container. So I also just want to show that a little bit goes a long way and also after you rub everything in, you are not greasy. So I literally rubbed my hands, rubbed it into my skin, the time that it was taking the top coat to dry on that nail. Generally, I do two minutes, but this time I only did one minute because I really wasn't that invested on how shiny the top coat was. So, um, yeah, you can see after a minute, I have my skin is not greasy at all. So here's all 65 of the colors I used. This is what it looked like, and... This is what the nail turned out to be. I only used one glow in the dark, so no, it didn't glow. And the temperature change didn't really work. Um, I don't know if it's because I mixed in so many other things. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Let me know how you guys are feeling still about poly gel. 
I do appreciate you guys for watching. Please check out my website. You can order cuticle oils and cuticle butter. And again, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys again soon for another video.